absolute blast. I guess he loves to cook, and I, I hear he loves to impersonate every kind of cooking sound from the blender to the boiling of water to um, the cracking of eggs. So I'm super excited and a little bit nervous because I think he's for sure going to steal the show. So make sure and watch tomorrow. going to be a lot of fun. Well, our trip to Europe continues right now, and we're headed to my house where we're going to show you how to make a super easy shrimp scampi recipe. Take a look. You probably know by now I love to cook. And one of my favorite things to eat is shrimp. And I love making pasta. My mom has a great recipe for shrimp and pasta. Why, thank you so much. Actually, I have to be honest, I got a little tired every time we went out to dinner that Ireland would love uh, to order the, the shrimp and pasta dish on the adult menu, which cost a fortune. You know what I'm talking about. Um, so we thought, you know, let's just make it a lot at home so we don't always have to order it out at the restaurants. And this is one of your favorites. Mm -hmm. Love it. Okay, well, we're going to start with, and we love to make it together too, some butter and... Just kind of spread oh, that around. Yeah, a little bit of olive oil. So both the combination of butter and olive oil. You know why we do the combination of both, Ireland? Mm -hmm. You tell me, Mom. Mm -hmm. Well, because if we just did butter, it might burn. And so if we add the olive oil and the butter together, we can bring the pan to a higher heat and uh, caramelize that shrimp a little bit and uh, then the butter won't burn. So that's why we do, we get that butter flavor, but we're able to turn up, crank up the heat and with the olive oil there. All right, I'm gonna, while she's working on, tell me when that starts melting. I'm working on cutting up, popping up some flat leaf parsley for a little color. Usually you guys don't like that parsley for your food, but I can sneak it in this dish. Mm -hmm. Dish is so good. She Riley notice won't it. notice that, but uh, I think I might. <laughs> all right, and then... One of my favorite things to use is garlic. I love garlic, too. How's that butter doing? So we're going to basically make some garlic butter. I'm getting my garlic all over. Mm -hmm. I'll get that, Mom. Oh, that's okay, honey. So I'm going to work on chopping up this garlic for a minute. Oh, it's really bubbling now. Okay. So now we're going to add this garlic, and we only want that in there for about 30 seconds or so before we put our shrimp in. The reason being, we don't want to burn the garlic. We just want that great garlic flavor. So now we've got some uncooked peeled shrimp, peeled into veins. Just going to lay that in there, and I don't want this cooks really quick, so you keep an eye on it. I can already see it turning color. As soon as it turns pink, it's already. Mm, and you can smell the shrimp flavor. Now this dish is kind of like shrimp scampi because it's got a lot of great lemon in it. So it not only has lemon zest, Shrimp is already starting to turn, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It also has fresh lemon juice. We're not going to get the seeds in there, so this is a great tip. Actually, one of our viewers told me, Amy, so you don't want to get the seeds in from fresh lemon juice? Do it over your hand so it touches the seeds, but the lemon juice goes right in there. Isn't that a great tip? Awesome. Shrimp's starting to turn pink. So I've got my lemon zest and my lemon juice. Now I'm going to reach in here. I've got some pasta boiling here. And uh, we like to use either, what do we usually use? Well, normal spaghetti. Yeah, just spaghetti noodles. Sometimes we'll use linguine. Whatever you have, it all, it all works great. But don't overcook the pasta. That's key. Let's cook it al dente. So I'm just going to go back here and drain it up real well. Make sure you get all the water out, Mom. Will do. How's our shrimp doing? Great. Okay, at this point we're going to... It smells amazing. Turn off the heat. Completely turn off the heat. And we're going to add even a little more lemon to this. 
because it has a lot of lemon. And we used all that butter, so I'm going to cut mm. some of that richness. And we're actually going to put whole lemon slices, believe it or not, right in there. And it looks really pretty. Oh, I can smell the lemon and I can smell the And then we're going to throw some of that butter. parsley in there. You want to stir that around a minute? Sure. Washing my hands. All right. Take some of this pasta. We're using, we use linguine today. But regular old spaghetti noodles work great. Oh, looks so good. Okay, now let's take some of that shrimp and some of that yummy butter sauce. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> I wish I could just have a bite now, well, you but can. in a little bit. In two <laughs> seconds, in two seconds, patience. Isn't that what I always say? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and garnish with one of those lemons, a little of that lemon butter sauce, or in that case, that was a lot of it. And uh, But it still turns out. What do you think? You want to give that give that an old try? Does that look amazing? Sure, it looks so good. And a lot cheaper to make it at home than to order this at the, at the restaurant. So this is a great way to satisfy both mom and Ireland in this case. Tell me what you think. A little bit hot. But a little bit hot. How about a piece of that shrimp? I can't wait. Mm. Yummy. So good. Yummy. You got to make this recipe at home, don't you? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. I'll let you keep eating.